Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I just saw the title of this video. I want to talk to you about what is social media. So, <laughs> social media, right? It should be made for uh, building relationships, keeping friendships, and for uh, creating value for other people. Too many times, too many times, especially since I've been doing online marketing, um, I see people just uh, filling up their Facebook profiles and pages with just a bunch of junk. And that's all it is because all they do is uh, promote their their businesses, their uh, products, and everything else. Uh, and I've been talking to quite a few people here uh, because I'm working on a project, and um, I will be revealing that, uh, revealing that project as well, but not uh, on this video, maybe at the end, who knows. But um, too many times uh, I look at people's profiles that are involved in any kind of marketing, whether it's online, offline marketing, they're trying to promote something. And all I see is promotions for their products. I don't see enough about their personal, uh, uh, basically about them, <laughs> their family, about their interest. Um, and I see a lot about just their business. Um, and to tell you the truth, guys, whenever I look at a profile or a fan page and all I see is product links all the time, it just wants me to just turn that off just like as if you were watching TV let's say you come home after work and you want to watch a TV show right and you turn the channel and all the channels were infomercials would that be any fun to watch I remember when I, when I used to work late nights when I used to be in the Navy um, I used to work the night shift I'd come home 11 o'clock at night I flip, flip through all the channels all I would find is infomercials eventually I found a, a channel that had baseball on it and it was the Seattle Mariners. Did I really care much for the Seattle Mariners? Uh, not really. I really didn't care much about baseball. However, it was the only thing to watch. So eventually I got I got to where I like, started liking baseball and started liking the Mariners. I, I know, maybe not the best team, but I did. However, I didn't want to watch infomercials all, you know, all day, all night, whenever I watched TV. I wanted to get something that provided me some kind of value, something that was entertaining. So... When you go to someone's profile or fan page and all you see is product information, I don't see how anybody can enjoy not just watching that but also um, taking part of it. If somebody gets into their own business, do you really want to be doing marketing all the time and doing posting links all over the place? Or do you want to be able to show somebody something that's valuable to them, something that can teach them how to get better, be more successful in life. I know for myself, um, when I first got started, I thought that's what I had to do as well. However, after failing with that and realizing it wasn't the right way to go, and not only that, did, did I get people uh, interested in the products and get, get them signed up in my business? Yes. However, did they stay around long enough? No. Um, because they were deceived. They, they thought they were getting something but you got to realize when people want to join your business, they want to join you. They want to find out what you're about. They want to be able to be part of whatever you're, you're part of and what you're not only teaching, but how you're becoming successful and how you learn all that, that information as well. Because I don't know about you guys, but if you're tired of having done that, because I talked to a few people this week. Um, I look at their profiles. When I go to a fan page, I see their marketing a product. Tip, hint, hint. When I see them marketing a product, right, I go and try to either friend them, follow them, or at least send them a message and see what they're about. Find out what they're, um, basically, what the signs behind uh, why they're posting that way. That way. I'm talking about trust, right? So here we go. <laughs> I know you can, there we go. Uh, there's sun, but I do have a visor here in my car. And I'm not driving. I'm parked. I don't have a seatbelt on, so I'm safe. But anyways, um... I talk to many people online. Uh, I've been doing that for, for quite some time now, but it's just like talking to somebody else, right? You want to build a trust. You want to build a, a, a friendship. Um, when I when I talk to these people online and all I see is a, posting links about their business, many times um, when I ask them why they're doing it that way is they think that's the only way that they're going to get their products, their, their business shown to uh, enough people, to lots of people. Uh, to tell you the truth, when I first got started, I went ahead and I got some uh, Facebook ads. 
and I marketed to over 100,000 people that, that looked at my website, and that was in a period of less than a month. Actually, I think it's probably about two weeks. I had over 100,000 people. They were all from Brazil, <laughs> and most of them used their cell phones. Um, nothing wrong with people from Brazil, but they were probably, I was probably the most popular guy in Brazil for a little while, but they weren't interested in what I was selling. Um, and all I did is basically send them uh, right to the link of what I was promoting. So that they, they didn't really find out anything about me. All, all this was the, the information I was selling. What did that do for me? Basically nothing except for spend money <laughs> and, spend, and waste my time um, because I wasn't providing any value for them. Did I sign somebody up from that? Possibly. And did they stay? Maybe. <laughs> but guys, the right way to do things, if you want if you have a business and you want to promote it, uh, build relationships, uh, provide value for that person. And I see people coming in and out here. I can't see. Your name's not coming up here or who it is. So if something comes up, if you want to leave a comment either here or later. And if you have a business, a personal business online, and you're one of those persons posting links, and you're telling me that it works for you, be, uh, be sure to share a comment. And if you've seen people doing it and you hate it, <laughs> comment as well. Let me know what you think about people that post links and, and share, not only in, in um, on their profile, but in groups and fan pages. And on uh, when they send you a message, when they contact you. If all they can do is talk about their product and not provide you any value, um, that should be a red flag, guys. Anyways, um, I'm trying to provide some value here for you guys. I hope you realize that. If you need uh, to uh, work on your business and you're not quite sure which direction to go, feel free to send me a personal message, and I will you. I will definitely get you in the right direction. And I'm not saying join my business. That's the, but if you if you think you have something going on and you're lost, you're not sure where to go again. Feel free to send me a personal message, and I will guide you in the right direction. Um, and it's not to join me. If, you, if that's something you decide that you want to do uh, later on because you see that I'm providing value whenever I create videos and on my content that I have on my blog or my, my uh, social media accounts, feel free to do that, and I will give you the information for that as well. But as you can see, um, what you want to do is provide value. And what I would do if you had links for your business on your personal profile and your fan page is remove all of them and start um, putting quotes, putting things people want to see, videos about you, pictures about, about you, uh, about your family, about events, things that you like to do. And if every once in a while, if you want to post something about your business or about your products, there's different ways to go about doing that as well without actually um, putting the products right there to where uh, you're promoting just that company, not you. Um, there's ways to do that. I can show you how to do that as well. Now, uh, just about some of the conversations I had uh, just from um, doing this research I've been doing. You know, when I ask people why they post links to their uh, personal profile or the website, they tell me that it's the only way they're going to get people to look at it. And I had one person that uh, told me he'd been doing this uh, for over eight years, and he's got all kinds of training videos. He's got over 70 fan pages. However, none of them were about him. They were all about his products, his businesses, um, and even his, his profile. And he's only marketing on Facebook. Um, you know, if that works for him, that's great. However, um, you know, when I get into a business that I want to call my own, I don't want to be promoting for somebody else all the time, and definitely don't want to be posting links all day long on social media. Um, I'm thinking about more of residual income, a business that I can actually uh, start and eventually teach people how to do that can bring them value and myself value as well. I'm, also, I'm actually uh, developing a coaching program that I've been working on for some time now, but I'm de developing a coaching program that will teach people how to do that, and I will be having some free training as well as some paid training too. And um, if it's something you might be interested in as well, let me know where you can find it because I do have a website set up for it. So you guys, um, if you're posting links all over the place, that's not the right way to do it. You want to find out how to do, a, do it a better way, send me a personal message, and I will definitely help you out. All right? So have a great day, and uh, I'll see you in my next video.